Jason Bradbury, famously from the Gadget Show. Not yeah. doing that anymore, I believe. No, it's all YouTube now. And um, I had 12 lovely years at the Gadget Show. I wish I was a big star. Thanks for that. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, oh, someone else coming. Uh, no, but as you know, I have watched you guys doing your FPV for a year or two. I had a quick spin once, and honestly, it was expensive and atrocious. So, I've, uh, as you know, set myself a, myself a challenge, and you guys hooked me up with um, Rotor Rush. And I'm now flying full acro in Rotor Rush, I'm very proud to say. I have to say, I've seen it, I've witnessed it, he does fly in acro. Just on the, the future of drones, not necessarily just the, the racing drones, because you've been doing a lot on your live stage there and talking about drone technology and stuff. Where do you see it going? Well, I mean, I, I did the uh, drone boarding video, which you've got to watch me being towed by a um, bodyboard uh, in Nuki out onto a wave, which is very, very cool. And um, I think that's the first time it's ever been done. I think, you know, life saving, that sort of thing. Um, I live in a big farming community. I live in Lincolnshire. Loads of work being done in that area. Um, I think it's really good to see drones being used in the kind of civil space rather than the military context that, you know, is something that doesn't excite me in any way. I, I, I love the fact that this has become a sport. I'd, lo I'd love to get on the mic one time and commentate. This man's doing a great job. Um, I'd love to give it a go because I think there's, um, there's room there to really show biz it up. Although I'm not unaware of, of, of how evolved it already is, you know. So, yeah, I think there's a load of room for, for drones and I'm very excited to see where it goes. I want my drone delivery. That's what I want. That's what I'm really out there for. That's what we all want, you know. And uh, and the sport's grown so quickly from from grassroots and from little groups in 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 just on Facebook and in fields, yeah. Um, and you mentioned there about you want to show busy up, and and I think we all agree it does need that, you know. So, for I'm not unaware that that has happened. I mean, you know, much more. Um, uh, influential people than I have stood in front of the mic and commentated on some massive events. I mean, you meant, mentioned Luke Bannister. I remember um, getting, you know, becoming aware of him with the amazing and, and that massive prize money. And that's when he made his mark, isn't it? And and so um, it's out there. But it just when I'm here, when I'm watching what you're doing, and I've watched it before. I was at Goodwood recently, a year or so ago, and it was happening there. And it, and it, it's so exciting. And if you're into technology and you like a bit of competition, what is not to like? And I'm telling you now, dude, I am hooked on Rotor Rush. I'm not paid. You gave me access to the software, that's it. I spent my own money on a Spectrum controller, a little yellow USB that does 2.4 gigs to USB. And I'm hooked, man. I'm bombing around. I'm doing my little inverted things, which don't always work out right, but I'm trying to do I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So you found it a good tool for learning? Yeah. Yeah, good. Um, Big time. Before we, before we sign off, uh, just a quick word about the overall show and what you think. And, you know, do you think there's a, a future for shows like this? It's so... I think the one thing that, that is important is that you don't just you don't just make it the drone show, which is brilliant. You know, Ollie, Ollie, the guy behind the drone show, I've got a great relationship with him. I've followed his progress, but I'm really excited to see it diversifying. Um, you know, so many different brands doing cool stuff. It's just set to grow. It's really important that it grows, and I think it's good for FPV in particular and the racing because it, it doesn't happen in an isolated context. We all need to, to broaden that for, for it to work financially. Um, so this show can hopefully evolve a little bit. Who knows? Yeah. We might be here next year. I hope so.